I've been taking notes while other people have been speaking, and um, I didn't have a piece of paper big enough to write down the number of ways in which I disagreed with Conrad. Good. Um, I disagree with, let's say, half of, of what he said. Um, I'm tempted to say 100%, but I would like to be invited back next year, <laughs> so um, play it safe. Um, I'm, I'm not gr a great fan of, of, of computer based stuff, I'm not a great fan of computers, it's a passing fad as far as I'm concerned, this whole internet thing, never catch on. Uh, I, um, I work, I am a mathematician, I'm a, a practicing mathematician, I work, as Conrad said, in what's called quant finance, this is where people, uh, people in banks who are rapidly losing your money, they do all this fancy mathematics to prove that actually they're not losing the money um, and get big bonuses uh, in the, the process. I teach more of these people than anyone else in the planet. Um, that's not to say I'm in any way responsible for, for what happened. Um, I, had I started teaching these people earlier and got to some sort of critical mass, then I'm sure I would have uh, personally saved the planet from um, financial meltdown. But I didn't, uh, but I'm still working on it. So I, I teach more people in, in quantitative finance and risk management than anyone else on the planet. And I do find uh, that the people in, um, uh, in banks are really, really, really badly educated before they come to me. They, they, um, they, there are qualifications you can get, uh, risk management qualifications you can get, which are multiple choice. They're supposed to be mathematical things. They're supposed to be about um, uh, asking questions, out-of-the-box questions about how much risk is there in my portfolio. And that can't be done by A, B, C, or D. Okay, the answer is, is, is that the risk in your portfolio A, B, C, or D? The answer is, is E. It's more than all of those. Uh, but people do get qualifications. They get jobs based upon uh, satisfying, uh, passing some multiple choice exams. And I, feel, I find a lot of people in finance think that they're mathematicians, and they actually know very, very little mathematics at all. And certainly they are very lazy people. And they're, but they're not just them, but all of us are really lazy people. And any opportunity they, they get to... Um, to, uh, let's say, let's say if, if they have to do some, some spreadsheet um, to, to analyze some, um, some portfolio, the first thing they do is they come to my website, wilmot.com, and they ask, has anyone else got a spreadsheet I can borrow? They don't have no idea what's inside that spreadsheet. They can't even build their own spreadsheets anymore. And I, I, I agree about this, this point about the, the maths being creative, and I do worry that the more computers get involved, um, the less creative things will be. I've, I've written, as I say, I've written a few things. Unfortunately, I've reached that, that, that age where I can't read my writing. And I'm, that, that's I'm why too... I've given up writing. See, oh, I, I see. You can change your font. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't change my font on this. That's true. That's true. So, and I'm, I'm too vain to get bifocals yet. So I'm going to have to pick random bits here. Uh, a friend of mine who, who teaches math, he, um, he has a great uh, expression. He talks about, you can't learn to swim from reading books. You actually have to jump in the water. And I feel that's very, very, uh, math is exactly the same. You have to actually sit down with that pencil and paper. You have to go through that process uh, if you are to um, fully understand what is going on. And, and, and subcontracting out to computers too much is going to, is just, um, you, you lose that, that the intimate um, relationship with the, with the, with the mathematics. So I, I'm, I'm going to be sort of opposing a lot of the things that are said today, or at least trying to uh, bring back a little bit of common sense, I think. It's the way I think of it. Okay, thanks, Paul. <laughs> well, we'll have plenty to debate in a little bit.